right, Danny Jacks, go with the blues. Uh, so, a request. I'm going to have to look it up again. I didn't bring my notes with me. Somebody requested a nice meat lasagna, so it's the season. Tis, you know, tis the season here, so we've got to start off with some olive oil. Not too much, because we've got a lot of, we've got to keep all that grease. I like to use all the, the natural fat. We've got some beauty, a beautiful Orsini sausage right here. I like to get this, get that baby nice and hot. So, uh, that's the bulk, the triple hot. We just made some over here. I was, I was telling Ben, I said, you know, I was, uh, I said, I said, my God, what a smell that is. So delicious. And, uh, that's the whole family recipe, right? Your, uh, Paul is, uh, yeah, family recipe. So I like a little bit of, a. Uh, a little bit of hot. Why did I got a call when we just started cooking videos? My, oh, I, my, phone, my phone doesn't ring all day. <laughs> it happens all the time. All right. So let that go and then uh, I got some nice Angus uh, ground beef. I like to not I like to, uh, you know, not, uh, let, let it, let it, don't move it around too much in the beginning. Let it, let it brown up. Bust it up into some pieces and just leave it alone. Let it fry in its own fat, like that sausage. And, uh, I'm going to cut an onion while it's cooking. Somebody showed me that deal in another video of cutting the top off. I, I can't, I can't deal with that. It's gotta go uh, like I've been doing it for a hundred years. It feels like a hundred anyway. Uh oh, looks like I got a little bit of a dull knife. Somebody been chopping rocks. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's all good. It's what nature gave us. Why throw it away? I'll give it a cut it on the fire, you know, a little bit smaller so it spreads out. Oh man. I smell. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> gotta, 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 uh, gotta download the app. <laughs> Garlic. Yeah, see how you got a lot of... See that now? Don't throw that away. Don't not throw that away. Take the same one. There's nowhere near enough garlic in my pan. Yeah. Boom. See when you let it get that kind of. If I tried to mix it up before, it would all be stuck to the bottom. Let it work. Don't rush. So, uh, I kind of like to live not too small, but nice. Get a little bit of texture in the lasagna. Okay, we'll let that go, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, let's see. 
see, we still got a little steam going on here. You know what I mean? That means there's moisture going on. A lot of people brown it off, and it's really not the fat, it's the flavor. It's the liquid, you know, so we're just letting it. I'm not turning it over yet. You know? Isn't that beautiful, though? Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to make the, uh, a layer. So I got a layer of uh, ricotta, the ricotta filling. So get a little bit of, uh, of course, a little more of this uh, garlic. Ragat, they call it the ragat. The ragata. There's a funny deal I saw. It said all the Italian uh, slang, you know, for all the food. And uh, they're pretty funny, man, you know, over the years. I'm going to put some. Uh, so what I do is I like to, I like to kind of do this on a thin side. Uh, so I'm to kind of layer it in, but the egg, when it cooks, it's going to make a nice, uh, firm it up. And uh, get some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. And then, uh, A little bit of heavy cream. See, instead of spooning it out and trying to spread it, we'll pour it on like a cream sauce. Hey, B, I'm going to need a little bit of spinach from you. I'm going to lay this little uh, meat, carne lasagna with Florentine. So let's taste it. Season each layer. It's good. Alright, starting here to sizzle a little bit. That's what I'm looking for right there. See that? Nice, a nice brown. That's developed flavor. That's a nice like searing a steak, not steaming up a steak. So let this go another, you know, a little bit. Then we're gonna add our our uh, peppers and onions, and we'll be right back. All right, we're good right here. We're good right here, Glenn. And uh, add the uh, carrot, the uh, Onions. Beautiful thing, huh? You know, when you add the onions and everything, it kind of deglazes everything, too. But you notice? We don't have a lot of fat. We don't have a lot of liquid because we've reduced it down. Hey B, you give me a cover for the uh, hotel pan. We're not gonna put a crazy amount of cooking into these. Uh, so let that go, and then uh, we got our uh, marinara. They call marinara. So the marinara sauce. I don't. I don't like to use a crazy amount of marinara. Just. Uh, just enough to get her going. Okay, I've got I've got the pasta sheets. I think come frozen, uh, already pre-cooked. But I mean, you can buy them in the, in the store pre-cooked, or you can cook your own, blanch your own, like three-quarter cook them. Throw me a big 
legs forward. Come on. for the holidays, you know, that's the day of the event, or... Okay. Nice. Will you give me a, uh, give me a deep insert of your piece of cheese, beef? What? Your cheese. bit of spinach. And the egg's going to tighten that water up on the spinach too. So that's good. Building flavor here, where we, we took our time with the. Uh... So what I like is I like to leave that layer just like it is, so you identify it. it's not all smothered in sauce. piece for the center piece. second layer. Right, check this out now. now. That's not going in the garden. I mean, look. I take out some potato water going. We got a nice flavor. We're gonna let that cook down in a minute. Gone out on top. So I'm gonna do one more with the cheese. And I'm gonna throw some uh, one layer of cheese on this one.
Tuck those corners in so those corner corners don't uh, get wet or get dried out. That pasta is going to absorb any auto liquid, any liquid we added in. It's a little bit of cheese, more cheese on top, not a lot of cheese on top. how we do this now. You don't have to use the plastic wrap, but... Okay, right, uh, right about three and a quarter, three, okay. three and a quarter, 350. I'm going to put it on the bottom for about 25 minutes. And then move it up for about another 25. Woo! Daddy Jack's going with the blues here. Be a holiday, holiday lasagna, just in time for Thanksgiving, right? Or see any hot, hot, or see any sausage? Makes gonna make the whole lasagna. Peace. All right, let's uh, do the piece de resistance. Woo! Ufa! Let's 
So what happened was a little miscommunication. So we pulled it out of the oven. What's it been in there for about an hour? At least an hour. And I said, well, we'll put it, we'll take it and put it in a pizza oven where it's about 450 on the deck just to get that heat going up through it. Because really, this take could, could take two hours. So we had taken the plastic wrap off and the foil, so we just put fresh foil. Woo! Uh, see, that's what happened to, with a plastic wrap, you wouldn't have had the, uh, the cheese come off. See? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Metal. Yeah, I got you. So anyway, but it would have looked a lot nicer with it because the steam with the plastic wrap would have kept it in. But this is perfect, you know. It's uh, see, you got. It. But what you got to do is we're gonna let it set up for at least you know a good hour or so before we cut into it. But uh, but I cut it. I cut it down in threes, probably. And then probably a piece this size, maybe four, so we get 12 slices out of this one probably. But um, what we'll do later on is when it's all set, it's got to set up for a little while, so then we'll get it. We'll, we'll put a little more sauce in the bottom of a casserole. I'll put maybe, we got a good amount of uh, marinara, some provolone, parmesan over the top. In the oven and we'll glaze it under the broiler. But this is it. And uh woo, really? Look out. <laughs> so this is a request from Louis Herrera and his wife Veronica. And they also made a lobster bisque recipe. He re they requested this, so here it is, Louis and Veronica. Alright, let's wrap it up. We'll show you how we're gonna finish this off. Hot out of the oven. Uh, I see, I, you know, we didn't put a lot of crazy amount of sauce in it, so we'll serve it. A little provolone. Not a crazy amount of cheese because we already got quite a bit in it. Hey, B. Pop this in your oven real quick. We're just gonna pop this in just to, to blaze it for a little bit. Hey, B. I passed you some with a towel. Come on. Now. All right. Hey. Hey. So. So anyway, I got. I gotta give a couple of shout outs. Okay. Uh, Miltorio gave it, you know, there's a few people wanted a uh, lasagna recipes, Bill Torrio. He said, you know, he, he's the re most recent request. Um, what else? Doug Rosenberg with the uh, Fall River Fire Department came down the other night. I, I meant to bring the badge. He gave me a beautiful badge, Fall River Fire Department badge. Really nice guy. He's meeting some friends up at... Uh, uh, Mohegan Sun that stopped in and had a real nice conversation with him. Shout out to the fire department up there in Fall River. Uh, it's the, uh, and uh, it's, it's Matta Fawcett, Matt, Matt Fawcett Diner, also in Fall River. He, uh, he, uh, they just opened up, he, uh, a young entrepreneur opened up and uh, I told him I'm going to take a definite trip up to visit him. And uh, come here, Bob. Come over here. Come over here, Bob. How you doing? This is my buddy Bob, like <laughs> yeah. one of the oldest uh, YouTube uh, friends. Uh, you know, we go pretty far back. Yeah, right, Bob? Yeah. Back. Now he's retired. Uh, you know, went through some hard times in life, like all oh, of us, yeah. and uh, came out smiling. And now he's uh, healthy, enjoying his retirement, and he's here with us. Join it here. <laughs> That's right. All right, Bob. So let's let's uh, be pull that out of the oven, and we're just going to give it the final touch. Watch your hands. Okay, just a little bit more palm under the broiler. Uh, you better tell Paula to get ready because... She's ready. Oh, baby. I'm 
telling you. I gotta say, I'm not. You know, I guess if you back it up, you're not bragging on yourself, right, Glenn? That's right. And I gotta say, hey, I, honestly, with that triple hot Orsini's, and uh, you know, the, I came up with a new trick with the ricotta. Just make it spread out thin so it evenly coats a layer. I kept the meat layer separate from the cheese layer. I gotta say, I took some home last night. I actually had some for breakfast. <laughs> that's, that's the best part right yeah, there. That was, <laughs> that's probably one of the best lasagnas I've had. Well, I'm just, uh, I'm just saying. All right, what's that missing, bud? A little green onion. A little green? A little green. A little greenery? All right. All right, we're going to bring this right out. All right. Let Paula oh, dig in. You got it. All right? Wow, look I'll at tell you, that. Be careful. You got, your what, you got your tools? I got tools. I'll tell you, it's super hot. Wow, that looks, oh, it smells fantastic. Be real careful. Mm. Chris, you dig it in with me? I'll share it tonight. I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's super really, really hot. hot. You might want to cut it with you. a knife and fork, because, hey, Danny. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta better, better be careful. Just take a real small bite. Oh, that smells fantastic. Take a small bite. And that's Orsini's oh. triple hot sausage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. The sausage and the, the peppers and the onions. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put my foot in it, as they say. <laughs> you did good. Not the big, not the big toe. I put my foot. You put your foot. whole foot in it. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. The all right, Dave Jacks, cool with the blues here. Glenn Peltier, the camera, doing all the video work. Can't thank you enough, Paula, Orsini Peltier. A cut above. A cut above the rest. Both with the sausage company and the hair salon. All right, peace, Bob and Betsy. How you doing? <laughs> Second time this week here. <laughs> We're going to start talking. Drop in, drop in. All right, Dad, Jess, going to move. Peace. Oh, my God.